Welcome back to Art by Sarah channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I made this mural in my room which looked like a 3D interdimensional thing. I'll share with you what I would have done differently, what I liked, what I learned and all of that so make sure to follow along. The first thing I did which I would change in the future is I put removable vinyls on my wall and I primed them with um, gesso. I will do differently in the future, use wallpaper which I did order on Amazon and I'm looking forward to putting more murals in my room but for now this is what I did and it didn't look horrible actually it worked out I think because I primed it the paint was holding very well and I used a lot of water with my acrylics so it was kind of good but it's different with wallpaper. Now I have to say what you're seeing here within these nine minutes took me a whole week to do. So I waited a whole 24 hours between the priming and the actual painting to start paint on the wall. So this was the next day. And I started with the first layer of just knowing where the light is coming from and what I wanted the painting to look like. Just an overall general idea. And now we're gonna make the mermaid tail that you saw in the beginning of this video that's going into the wall and gave it the 3D look. And to make this, I used paper towel that I have dipped in the water that I had from painting. So when you paint with acrylics, you dip your brush frequently in the water and there's a lot of acrylic in that water. And it kind of gave it the hardness and the color that you see. And that was the base, the inside of my mermaid tail and then I covered it with air dry clay on the top. And that was my second mistake right there because I didn't know how to properly use air dry clay or any kind of clay before. I used smaller patches and put them together instead of properly put one large piece of clay, smooth it out and lay it on top of the paper that I have laid out. So that is the second thing that I would do differently in the future and I look forward to actually incorporating more clay into my art and making more 3D looking pieces of art be it on canvas, mural or whatever it is and of course doing it properly next time just larger patches versus smaller patches that I have to smooth over and over. Now I have to mention the tail took me the longest time to make because I had to do the clay and wait for it for 24 hours to dry and in the case of this fin actually I had to make one side, wait for that to dry, then flip it, make the other side, wait for that to dry so that is two days already and then do the painting that you're gonna see later. As for painting I mixed up dark green, light green, metallic green, and blue because I wanted to give it that kind of not even one solid color, like different colored skin in a way. And I colored one side, painted that, and I had to wait for it to completely dry overnight. And then the next morning I painted the other side, waited for that to completely dry by the evening. So that's why the tail probably took me about four days in total I think or maybe a little more I feel like up to the point that I hang the tail up on the wall I was still working on it every chance I had
since I wanted this to look as 3D as possible and I want it to look as if the mermaid is actually escaping from my room into the water, I took some pieces of clay and smoothed them out on the wall, put them in the way that they looked like a water ripple effect. That way when I'm painting over them, it gives it that pop-up, it looks like actually 3D. This was the only thing that I got from the outside, it was in my own art. So I got these small panels from the dollar store. They're wallpaper panels. They have different shapes, types, looks into them. And this one looked like rock wall and I wanted that look into the wall. It felt like it's gonna give it more dramatic effect to the overall mural that I was trying to create. So I started cutting them and put them all over as you can see here and it kind of looked nice, I liked it. And by the time I was done with the wallpaper all around, the clay that I put on the wall to create the ripple water effect has dried up and so I'm going over it with some paint to kind of make it merge into the painting. And since I want it to pop up as much as possible and want to give it that 3D look, I had to go all around that wallpaper where it's popping and kind of add that water effect into the sides of it. Because you know when you drop something in the water, there are ripples, 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 and it goes all the way to the outside and there are those small lines in there. So I went all around the canvas and Here's where I owe you an apology because at some point when I put the mermaid tail on the wall, my camera died and I couldn't get that part on camera for you. I didn't get to record my third mistake and here's how it went down. So when I wanted to put the mermaid tail to the wall, I used crazy glue, which held up very beautifully, very nice, but the vinyl itself is not strong. Remember I told you the one thing I wish I changed about this whole thing is using wallpaper versus the removable vinyls. And I look forward to using wallpaper in the future, but for this one, sadly, it didn't hold up well. That's why I had to use my threads from sewing kit. So I brought this thread up to the top of the mural, put it with a safety pin on top of the mural, and kind of went a few rounds around it and you could see the thread if you're looking very closely but when it was a further shot you cannot see it very clear so at least it didn't look very very horrible but I could have done better if it was wallpaper <laughs> This is the final result. It took me a week to finish. It was really nice to work on this. A lot of painting, a lot of new experiences, and a lot of expansion, but it was never meant to stay up, so I had to put it down because I promised myself this was about the process, not the end result, and so 